Hey Facebook, I just wanted to come on here real quick because I had a couple people ask me questions about this hair braid and that they couldn't um, keep it from falling out. Like they would do it and then it would just come apart. Um, so I have some tips for you. If you're going to do this hair braid, your hair, I mean the dirtier the better, you need some sort of grit or some sort of product in your hair. So when I get out of the shower, I never blow dry my hair without putting a ton of stuff in it. Um, my hair is so fine and so soft and like wispy that it would never hold curl or it would never hold, you know, anything like this if I didn't have like some gunk in it. So basically, before I blow dry my hair, I'm going to put, you know, some volumizing like gel or mousse or, you know, serum, something like that in my hair. And then I'm going to blow dry my hair. But before I did this, like today, I did it a little bit earlier and I forgot to put some of the stuff in and I did the braid and it just seemed way too soft and it started to like fall out. So I was like, I need some more stuff. Um, there's my little Liam in the background. So I grabbed my Big Sexy Hairs Powder Play. This is a texturizing, volumizing powder. I swear by this stuff. Like it is phenomenal. Um, and it's this little tiny canister and it's like powder kind of just it's powder and I will sprinkle that at the roots and kind of rub that in and get it into my hair and your hair will instantly be like gritty and manageable and you know almost feel like kind of dirty I mean that's kind of how it has to be if you're gonna do this stuff um, another thing you could use is a good dry shampoo I like bedheads rockaholic this is a good one it's got a green cap like that Yes, Jennifer, yeah, I call this stuff hair crack for real because I can't live without it. My, this would not stay um, and would be too soft if I didn't put some, you know, like texturizing powder or some dry shampoo or something to give it some grit. So um, if your hair is falling out, if you're trying this braid and your hair is falling out, it's too clean. It's too clean, it's too soft, and you need to get it a little dirty. Um, so try that. Um, also, after I'm done, I hairspray the mess out of it, okay? I like to use Cheese Helmet Head, all right? And it's called Helmet Head for a reason because when you spray it, your hair is not going to move. And, you know, don't be afraid of products, okay? Don't be afraid of products. That's how you're going to get great hair. Products lead to great hair, <laughs> great hairstyles. Um, I could never in my life do anything any of my hairstyles without products. So get some really good quality products, get some volumizing or texturizing powders. Big Sexy Hair makes one. Um, I think, T I don't know if Bedhead makes one. All Everybody pretty much is making these texturizing powders now. They even have spray ones. However, I feel the spray ones aren't quite as gritty as the actual powder. So I really like the actual powder. And like I said, I just picked up this section that I was gonna braid. I sprinkled it all at the roots, rubbed it all in, cause you can't see, you know, the, the powder, it will rub in. And then your hair is gonna be like tacky or like, you know, it almost feels like thicker and you can do more stuff to it. So the braid was way easier doing that. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple of those tips because a few people had said to me they had tried this braid and it was falling out. So I think that's probably why you need some more product in your hair. All right, everybody have a wonderful first day of spring. Get outside and enjoy the day if you can, and I'll talk to you soon.